So welcome back to another delivered review. This week it is the rib sandwich from Fat Buns. So this week, and you'll see in a minute when we have a look in the bag, and the rib sandwich. So for some reason they don't do that on just eat. It's only on delivery. I don't know when that's just up to the restaurant or delivery rather. Um, but I found that separately on delivery. So I thought, let's go back to delivery. I still don't agree with the prices. I think they're too much. Um, but, you know, who am I to say? Like, it, they're all charging whatever they charge. It's all overrated as a delivery service. Um, so it is what it is. So you've got the rib sandwich, which looked exceptional, I think, in the picture, as they always do. Um, four ounce Aberdeen Angus smash patty, barbecue flavoured, 12 hour smoked pulled rib meat. Doesn't say what rib meat, so I'm going to say it's. it tasted like a beef rib, but I, I don't think it was pulled pork. Um, I don't think they do pork in terms of this type of restaurant. Um, toasted brioche bun, which is not the bun, but it's obviously bread topped with American cheese, lettuce, tomato, served with a side of seasoned corn ribs. As you can see there, the toast was, was nice. It probably was, it could have done with being toasted a little bit more just to add a little bit more structure to it. Um, everything kind of smashed into each other. Now they are smashed patties, but I just mean everything was kind of, you know, mushed together. And obviously as you can see there, the pulled meat um, it was really, there was plenty of it and really nice, but you'll see in a second on the review, uh, it didn't really hold together amazingly well, let's say. Um, You've got these little corn pieces, which could have been done with just being a full corn or half corn. They've got what I think was like a uh, occasion sort of spice on them or seasoning on them, dusting on them. They were really nice, but just not really much of them. Um, the fries themselves, pretty good fries for, for fat buns. I think they were the skin on fries. But as you can see now with this rib sandwich, which again looked really nice on the picture as you could see before. As you take a bite, everything just squashes into everything else. Like, I'm not being rude to the company or anything like that, but if they're gonna have different meats that are soft, as in smashed patty and a, a pulled meat, with juices, as in sauces, lettuce, tomato, and the juice from the burger, everything is gonna end up a bit of a mess. Now, I think they could just overcome this with some other type of bread and it would be a brilliant burger or if you want to call it a burger toasted burger um, but the brioche bread just was absorbing everything almost and getting to the point where as you've got with some um, like double patties is uh, too much juice it's just too much and it soaks into everything you become this kind of like sliding about mess which yeah okay some people like that but if I think for the fact that it's not cheap um, as you can see there by the end of it the bottom slice of bread was almost nothing it was just flat almost almost completely soaked up with the uh, juice so overall I would say it's got to be 8 out of 10 if they could just do something with the burger buns as they call it but obviously the bread maybe a piece of cheese at the bottom then I'd say 9 out of 10 it's, it's really nice as usual thanks for watching apology from the delay last night from being on today uh, having bought yesterday and if you can subscribe like and comment